Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to another episode of Let's Go Fishing Sim. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different. So basically what happened was that I had to migrate over to Steam. I did have my, uh, I did start playing the game on Xbox Live. I got up to level 2 prestige, like six, level 15 in the second prestige, had a ton of TP, a ton of equipment. You guys have seen all the videos. If you haven't, make sure you check some of them out. But yeah, so today, basically, I'm starting as a level 1 novice angler, and I think it's a great opportunity for me to make some more basic videos. So today, this video is just taking a quick overview at the screens and what you can find out from them. Guys, so on your home screen here, uh, as you can see at the bottom of every screen, there's always the chance to go to options. Here you can switch from Imperial to Matrix, to Metric. You can change the basic cast to total cast. You can go from normal or partial or minimal HUD, right? I'm just gonna leave that as is. I like the basic cast just for now, that's good. Then you can set your video settings, however you wanna do that. And you can set your audio settings. Then you got your keyboard stuff. I don't use the keyboard, I'm using a PS4 controller. But as you can see, uh, Steam is just picking it up like it's a um, automatically sets up the game to be as if it was an Xbox uh, controller. Yeah, here you can scan the QR code to open up the manual and there's of course the credits for the people that made the game. Guys, your home screen has career mode. I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm gonna do a series on career mode. But I don't recommend you go to career mode right away when you unbox the game. I'll talk about that as I go on. Guys, this is the add-on store. It's where you can buy some extra DLCs. As you can see, I got the Trophy Hunters equipment pack. And I also got the Quad Lake Pass, which doesn't show that I own it, but I'm pretty sure I did download it. Guys, then over here, where it says Dovetail Live, is where you can check your mastery of the different lakes and the different tiers. So as you can see in Gillum's, I got uh, Red Tail, Catfish, and then each tier unlocks a different gear like a hat or a hoodie or a shirt. This is really important guys, here um, on their news articles, you can see some articles that had info about COVID, let's say, things like that, and then what is the big fish lure pack. This is the most important one here guys, where to find trophy fish. I wish I knew about this way long ago. But it basically goes to all the main lakes and then it just shows you where to go, right? So in for example in Lake Travel, Lake Travis, Frito, the small bass, is in the section near the Colorado River end of the lake, right? It doesn't give you an exact location, but at least it points you in the right direction, which is kind of cool if you're hunting for a specific trophy fish. And again, that's found under the Dovetail Live setting, under the news articles. Okay, I covered career mode. Tutorials, you guys, I definitely recommend you have a look of all, at all these tutorials. Uh, they're pretty good. It's definitely a good way to get started. So watch those if you want. Fishing trip, you can actually, you can see I have the Quad Pack Lake, because I got these four extra lakes. Otherwise, you start on Guntersville, Travis, Lake Miller, etc., guys. And this shows you the this the species and the amount of trophy fish. And uh, it gives you a little description of each, which is kind of cool. All right, guys. Um, in the play now, you have your fishing trip, which is what I just covered there. You have the career mode, which, again, don't recommend you do that right away, guys. What I recommend is you actually go to the offline tournaments. We're gonna start on the bass. We're not gonna do that right now, but uh, we will do that eventually, guys. So I just, I'm saying, play some offline tournaments so you can increase your TP, so you can get better equipment and have an easier time doing the career. You can also just jump into the career if you want. No one's stopping you, man. Do what you wanna do, it's just my suggestion. Now guys, check it out. Uh, this is where you can go in multiplayer and either create a session or join a session, have an open session, or friends only for both. I haven't played much uh, multiplayers, but I, I know that some people have asked me to play, and I'm going to start definitely doing that once I start streaming and working a little bit more on the channel. Guys, you can also access your online tournaments here. You will need a Dovetail Live account to do this, which I recommend you get anyway. 
because you'll get some extra gear plus you'll get access to a boat that's a little bit faster than the boat you get with the regular game so yeah guys that's where you play online customize is where you can actually add a new tackle box you can create a new tackle box you can rename a tackle box you can delete a tackle box this is where you go to pick your equipment um, I'm gonna go over that in a in a basics video I'm gonna do I'm just overviewing all the screens right now guys okay so then there's the appearance uh, as you can see, I already kind of did my guy a little bit. Got the Bait Shack hat and the Jenko fishing, I think from the Deluxe Edition. Or maybe the DLC, I'm not sure what it came with, but that's how you can edit your appearance. And then here under the boats, you can see you're going to get started with the High Chew Odyssey, which goes 40 miles per hour, it's not very fast. If you log in to... Dovetail Live, you get this one, which is a little bit faster. I definitely recommend you log into Dovetail Live at least to get this boat. It does help that it's a little bit faster. I've of course selected my Bass Cat Puma for now, and I'm just gonna leave it in the Ducket Fisheries. Here you can also change the wraps, which um, which you can definitely do if you like. I think that each one costs money, and I think that. Uh, they help you to keep your sponsors happy, right? If you want to do that. But I guess not really, because it's always just uh, the bass cat, I guess. Oh yeah, but look, you got a ridge monkey there, and yeah. So no, these are there are some uh, some brand ones. I have the ducket one right now, but there are the missile baits, Bill Lewis, etc. That'll affect your career. Once you're playing on your career, there, there's a way you can keep sponsors happy. Anyway, guys, so that's the customized screen, and then there's the angler log screen, uh, which basically is a good place to, if you're wondering what type of species there are, it's a little bit more specific. Basically, we know that in Guntersville, there's largemouth, right, smallmouth, spotted bass, channel catfish, rainbow trout, muskies, because there is, for every trophy fish, that's a species you'll be able to find in that lake. So it's a good way to figure out if you're hunting for a specific fish, you can find what they are here. Let's say you want to know what the biggest carp is in Waltzy. It's probably going to be one of these, right? A common carp, 37 pounder. 52 pounder, the perfect common. Never caught that one. It's kind of cool. But anyway, so you can see kind of like, oh, there's a gigantic mirror ca carp ca called Claudia. That's pretty cool. But anyway, guys, so that's the trophy caches. And then here in the species, it kind of gives you just an overview of the species. And you can kind of just take a look at the at what they look like there with the graphics. I wish that it did tell you more about like the type of lures that they like and how to catch them. But I guess that it's not something they really do here. It's fine, don't worry, I'm gonna do some videos about that and what I think works and what's worked for me and things like that. Again, there's another way you can access the tutorials. Alright guys, so that's about it for the menu overview. I think that uh, I got a little bit more time so maybe what I'll do is we're gonna do just um, a leisure fishing trip and then I am gonna talk about the absolute basics of the game you know what I'm gonna actually make a different video for that just to keep it more uh, concise and just easier to find for people so yeah I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of the menu screen guys and uh, coming up next is gonna be a video of um, just all the basics and what the game looks like and just how I go about bass fishing that's how we're gonna get started guys thank you so much for all the new subscribers we hit over a hundred subscribers I can't believe it really cool thanks for all the comments thanks for all the likes uh, definitely working on getting a stream set up and that's gonna happen very soon so stay tuned for that you guys are awesome I hope everyone's staying safe I hope everyone is staying healthy. You guys have a great time. Thanks for watching. Bye now.